what I, what I like to teach my students early in the preaching class is that we build our practice upon a theology of preaching. And the theology of preaching rests on the word and an understanding that the word must be proclaimed in the church, that we are called to be the ones to do that, that the church's life depends upon it, and therefore our work in ministry needs to be shaped in such a way that there is sufficient time to do the work of preaching. Now another roadblock is, is that uh, you'll have so many sermons perhaps in a given week to do. There might be a couple of weddings, there might be a funeral thrown in, it might be Lent, and it might be a Sunday morning and a Sunday evening service, and sometimes pastors find themselves having to preach two, three, four, five times. Uh, students are always uh, concerned about that. Well, how in the world can I put all of the time into a sermon that you're expecting me to do when I have to preach that many times? And uh, my suggestion there is simply to say when you're, when you're called upon to bring a word, you can trust that God will give you the word. It's your job to find it, to work it out, to bring it forward. But when you have to preach a lot and you don't have much time, one of your chief tools is to pray. And the more you have to preach, the more you pray. And the, and the more you pray that God will give you a word to speak in the time, at the time in which it is to be spoken. And God always delivers. The preachers don't always deliver, but God always delivers. Uh, if the preacher doesn't deliver, that's because the preacher did not do the work. It's not because, more than, more than likely not because God decided not to show up. Well, fear ought to keep you on task to a certain extent. If, if, you, if you understand that what you're doing is urgently pro proclaiming God's word to God's people in this moment, then there's no excuse for, for doing that in a sloppy way or in a, in a, in a way that, that doesn't draw upon the, the work that's required, the research in the text that's required. Um, one ought to have the sense that this is so important, that, that the, the faith of the church depends upon the hearing of the word. And if you have that kind of belief, then you, you dig into the word because you want to be sure that what you have to say is what God has to say. Um, when we preach, the hope is that we will speak a word of truth insofar as we understand it, and we understand it because we have been trained to dig into the scriptures and unfold it.